I want to talk to you today about how you could program Arduinos on a tablet. This particular one is a Samsung Tab A tablet. I've been programming Arduino for about three years now. I've used this program right here, Arduino Droid. And you can get it from the Play Store. It this is a this is a good program. Uh, the reason why I don't I one thing I don't like about it is the ability to use custom libraries on there that people people make on there. So I went for this solution right here. How do you install the genuine Arduino IDE program that you can get from the that you can get from Arduino's website? Uh, so I came up with this solution right here. Uh, you will need uh, for this solution. There are two things you will need. Uh, first of all, you will need a tablet that supports USB on the go. You can get an app on the Play Store to verify that your tablet does support this feature on here. Once you have that, you will need a tablet that is rooted for this to work. Once you have those two options in place, you will need two additional programs, which you can get from the Play Store. You will need this program right here, which is called Linux Deploy. You will need this program right here, which is Android VNC. Once you have these two programs, you will start this one and it will tell you, it'll bring you to this screen right here. You go to the corner here, uh, you go to the down arrow, and this will take you into the configuration screen here. Uh, you can distribution you can go you can pick um, several distributions you can pick Debian Ubuntu Kali Fedora Gentoo several different distributions you can pick from uh, let's see now this one I went and defined uh, the size of my what it does is it makes a container uh, to, to the size that you define it as, uh, you will need to put in a username. You will need to put in a password on here and check these three boxes right here. Uh, INIT, SSH, and GUI. You will need to check those three on here. You hit the back button. And then once you have that, you go ahead and click up in the corner there right here then you will click install and then it'll go ahead and install the Linux distribution on there you will need a working internet connection for to install this because as it downloads everything from the web to go install into the file container uh, once it is installed you go ahead and click configure and once that it'll take it will probably take about uh, 10 minutes to get this set up once it is set up you will go ahead and click start and it'll ask you um, that you want to mount the container and start services you click OK and then once that is done you will go ahead and click on Android VNC You'll go ahead and put in here your username and password that you've already selected. Uh, you will put this address in there. Port you will put zero, but some for some reason it defaults it to 5900. You will go ahead and click connect, and it'll go ahead and connect you to your your Linux distribution. A couple things that you will need once you get once you get the a distribution working in here you will need to install Firefox and to do that you will go to you will go to the shell on here and you will go to and you want a terminal of your choice and you will type sudo space apt apt dash git space install space Firefox space dash Y. 
that will go ahead and inst automatically install Firefox for you as a web browser. You will need that so you can go to the Arduino website and download the Arduino program. Once you do that, you will need to download, um, get the latest version, which currently is 1.8.1. Uh, you will download the, this version uh, for Linux for ARM processors. Once you do that, you will you will download that. You will uncompress it. There is a program, and I can't remember what it is. Um, you'll have to do some research on it because it's an .xz file on there, and there's additional program that you will need to do a app get install on there to uncompress those. Once you do that, um, what I done was I go ahead. I went ahead and copied that that entire folder contents over to a directory um, called OPT. So the program is global. And then I went ahead and uh, changed the uh, change mod on the install for execution and installed it. Once you do that. Um, it will ask you, it will tell you that you need to uh, have dial out privileges, which I haven't found out how to do that exactly on the tablet. I, there probably is a way to do that. So what I've done, I will click on it. Um, you click on properties. You will come over here. And what I done was I put sudo in front of that. So that runs it into uh, root privileges. And then click OK. You'll double click it just like a Linux and it'll ask you to open. And then it'll go ahead and start at the, air, the IDE. It takes a little while. It takes a little bit, a couple minutes to get it started. It'll put you in a screen. You're able to install your libraries. You're able to write your own libraries. Use other people's libraries on here for custom. You're able to program and install different boards on here as well, which is uh, another thing that the Arduino Droid, like say if you wanted to program uh, the 32-bit boards on here, you can do that on here without any without any trouble on here because basically what this is this is the Arduino IDE just like you would see on a computer screen you're able to do exactly the same thing as you would on a computer this is more portable you're able to take it on the go this I like uh, you'll need a it'll take a little bit of time to get used to um, a couple of tips I will tell you is to bring the keyboard up you press and hold screen and you bring up your keyboard on here so you're able to type whatever you need on here um, change your mouse you press and you hold the back button uh, you go to input mode it's got these different selections on here uh, this one I find to work the best touchpad on here uh, these the top two the touch mouse pan and zoom those two I find to work the best on here you will have to experiment with this and see what you like on here uh, the only downfall to Linux deploy is that whatever work that you save on here <laughs> goes right into the file container and I haven't been able to extract those files like say like onto an external memory card or put it back on the tablet itself so you will need to so I, what I would recommend is using a Dropbox you can store your your sketches in there and then go to the Android side of it and download your schedules and you'll be able to save it. This is the end of my video. Thanks for watching. Post any comments, likes, anything you want.